This video is all related with the new wheel from Segway, the most powerful wheel from Segway, the 9BOT Z10. And I have to tell you guys that this is not a review of this product, of this amazing product. It's a review of my experience purchasing this wheel from China. So if you decided to buy this one from AliExpress or Gearbest, you have all the answers of what can go wrong. This becomes my biggest nightmare. But if you want to know everything about this story and what you should do next if it happens the same to you, stay tuned after the intro. Hi everyone, Marcus here from MadPack, where we unpack your next product and hey, if it's your first time here, we only talk about technology, cool stuff and also you let me skateboard, so if you like this type of content, consider subscribing. So like I said to you guys, this video is all related with my purchase of the 9BOT Z10. So basically my girlfriend decided to offer me this for Christmas, when I take out from the box and I try to turn on, it couldn't turn on. So I thought, okay, maybe the battery is completely flat and there is no energy at all and that put me a little bit scared already so I tried to connect and nothing happened so the charger continued green automatically I noticed that something was wrong so I went to websites to forums to try to find a solution and many persons they they show me how to reset the batteries so I have to take out one of the sides disconnect the cables connect again after pressing on the on off for more than five seconds, nothing happened. So what I decided, I buy a voltmeter and what is my surprise, the voltage of this battery that is a 57 volts, if I'm not wrong, is only 6.6 .6 volts. So basically that battery is dead. If you want to buy another battery, it's around 800 pounds. So it's almost the same price that you have to pay to bring this wheel from China. Obviously, if you buy in England, they are much more expensive, but the nightmare was really, really big. In other words, what happened is basically they wanted us to pay to send back to China because that is the rules when you buy something from China. The thing is, if you buy something that is faulty and you discover that the product is faulty in the first six months, um, they have to repair or and they have to cover the cost of it. If it's faulty out of the box, that is what happens here, you can ask for a full refund. But the fight was big because they don't want to give me the money back without paying the ports, so to, without paying the shipping costs of sending this back to China and like you can imagine from the UK and sending back to China uh, it was around 400 pounds so I have to search online for all the laws uh, related with this product and uh, related with any product that you decided to buy uh, online and it arrives faulty and besides that I pay shipping costs to have this board here so it doesn't make any sense I paid to receive a faulty product and they wanted me to pay to send it back so I can have my full refund that in the end was not a full refund because I had to pay back uh, 400 pounds to send this product to them so like I said before to get my money back I have to use two different laws to defend myself and AliExpress have already said that I'm right, but until now I'm, I'm waiting for a resolution of this situation. So what I propose is who sell me this wheel, they have to pay the shipping costs and they have to give me a full refund. And AliExpress said, yeah, they have to do that, but before they wanted me to pay to send this to China. So like I said to you guys, if it's a faulty product, out of the box, they have to give you the money back, okay? If you find after the first 30 days that is a faulty product but is in the first 60 day, um, six months, sorry, you have the right to have a replacement or to have your wheel or other products repaired without any costs, okay? The other thing that I have to use to argue is because the problem is in the battery so you, you know that batteries are quite unsafe things and if you are thinking that you are putting your life on top of this and imagine that in any moment the battery can just stop you are putting your life in risk so I use another law that is the Consumer Protection Act 
1987. So I use this law to say that they sell me an unsafe product and it's true. So I win the two complaints that I've done that is an unsafe product and is a faulty product and because of that they have to give me my money back. Until now I don't know if the seller will say okay I do a full refund and I don't want to pay those 400 pounds to get that product back because just to replace the battery and put this one to sale once again they will have to spend around 800 pounds so like I said it's almost the price of a new one and um, maybe I will stay with this wheel in a corner and if I found the battery one day in the future it'll be cheaper maybe I will buy it and I will put inside to see if it works or if there is any other problems inside this wheel another thing that I would need to share with you guys is Segway do amazing products so Segway if you are hearing this you are amazing doing these products you put a lot of effort to give to us one of the best wheels even if this one don't work I know that is an amazing product but after that, imagine that you buy an iPhone in Portugal, in my country, and you have a problem. And you arrive in an Apple store in England and you say, oh, I buy this one in Portugal, is inside the, the warranty because there is one thing that is called inter uh, international warranty and it should be covered everywhere by every brand. If they are there, they have to support you. And, um, and they say to you, no, no, you not you don't have uh, spend your money in our store so we don't help you so that happens to me calling for Segway so basically I went to the website of Segway I check which one is the official uh, seller of Segway I call that store and I talked with the lady I'm really disappointed to don't have record that phone call and she basically has said that I have to talk with the seller that sells me this because they don't want to know anything about it because they don't have my money so they will never help me and I was like in shock because if that seller sells me the product they have to produce them and no they don't want to help you if you don't buy from the website they will never never help you so if you are going to buy this and you are going to buy not by Segway but by another seller be careful what you do because if you don't know how to repair that is my case I know it's just buying a new battery take it out put the new one and I'm almost sure that this will work but it's not that kind of situation and experience that you want when you spend in this wheel was 1300 pounds she even said to me that for sure the wheel that I had here was fake and I was like in shock how someone that represents a big company like Segway and Segway is also a company that I've been covering on my channel for a long time because Segway is Xiaomi how they can have someone working for them saying to me she don't know me she never saw me she never sleep with me she's not my friend she's not my parents and she said to me that for sure that this wheel is fake it's not a fake wheel everything is normal the only thing is this one was purchased in China but they should give me at least the opportunity okay we get your wheel here but if you want to repair it you have to pay but even that was not a, sh a chance they don't give me that chance they just said we don't have your money so we wash our hands and try to find another solution to resolve your problem with our product <laughs> so I just wanted to bring this to the table and tell you why you should not buy online because this can happen this wheel takes a long time to arrive in your country this wheel takes more than one month coming from China and these batteries they drop the, the energy very very quick and if they go below 20 volts the charger can't charge once again obviously you always can do a jump start you always can try if the battery is not really low like I said I checked mine and it was around 6.6 .6 volts so it's too too low so it's a completely dead battery but you always can do the jump start but my question is do you want to risk your life in a battery that you know that can have already some problems and you are riding imagine 40 kilometers per hour and the battery just stopped and you just fall 
wherever you are think about it question of the day you have already purchased these wheels from china you have already done a jump start maybe on yours let me know in the comments below before you go don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't have subscribed until now share this video with your family and friends comment below smash the thumbs up and like i said in all my videos you already know the answer i see you in the next one